Today I'm going to be talking about how to do eDNA sampling from your water. That's E for environmental DNA sampling. Essentially what we're trying to do is take all of the particulate matter and pathogens attached to them and any free floating pathogens in the water and sample those onto an NCB filter paper to test on the multipath technology. You might be testing your uh, drinking water of your animals if you're on a pig farm, or you might be testing your pond water on a shrimp farm, or your intake water to test your UV or ozone filtration systems that they're actually working. When designing a statistically significant sample plan for eDNA filtration, it's really important to consider the purpose of the testing and how to represent the water body for which you're sampling and what your data to represent. You're more than welcome to contact us anytime to help with your statistically significant sample plan. Typically, we would take four replicates of one litre per sample site on the NCB filters and pull those NCB filters per site into one pot for one multipath test. But the number of positions from which you take the samples will vary depending on whether you're sampling intake water, a pond, or the drinking water from your farm. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you'd like help with this. What we have here is we have pre-sterilised filter cartridges and uh, these little NCE filters. We usually run an 8 micron, 5 micron and 3 micron filter cartridge in a line. The actual microns that you use depends on how much particulate matter is in your water but you need to end on a 3 micron filter to make sure you get pathogen slate viruses uh, in your sample for multipath. We have sterile equipment here, this has all been pre-sterilised. So first of all, I'll take my 8 micron MCE filter cartridge in a sterile manner. So my gloves are clean. The blue paper uh, is a spacer between the white filter cartridges. So we take the 8 micron filter out and I'll grab the white middle section with the tweezers. They're very soft, be careful not to break them. Put that into a waste. This then lays on our sterile uh, filter base housing and you push that over with the housing here which has been marked as 8 microns. That will be the first filter that the water passes through. Make sure that's nice and tight. The second one in this case is a 5 micron MCU filter. Same thing, two blue spaces. We take that centre filter paper with our sterile tweezers. Nice and gentle waste onto our filter housing. And push that on. That's our five micron filter. It's been marked there. Push those on nice and tight. We then always need to finish on our three micron filter, which will capture all of our smallest pathogens present in the water. So again, here we take this center filter paper, in the center of the housing. You can also put on these black clamps. You'll only need these if you have quite a bit of particulate matter and they sit over like this to hold those filters together. Today we're filtering intake tank water from a shrimp farm so we're not going to need these particular um, braces on there. So now in a line we want to set this up so water comes in our intake, push that onto here, through our 8 micron filter, through our 5 micron filter, keeping this on the outfoil here, which is a sterile surface, and then through our 3 micron filter. Taking note of the order that we have this in intake water, the black side of filter paper, and the cartridge housing, etc. So now we're going to connect this to our eDNA pump. Over here we have a eDNA pump. This is a specialised pump that is designed to pump the water in the right amount of flow rate across these filter cartridges 
for EDA assembly. What we now need to do is we now need to connect this. This is already sterilised and pre-connected uh, to the pump. The first thing you'll probably need to do in some cases is to prime the pump. So you can prime your pump without the filters connected. You just get some water to go through the hoses. Um, that will help it to pump the water through the filter housings. You then want to connect this to your um, filters that you have connected up in line, nice and tight with the fittings, like so. Down here we have a one litre Scott bottle, so that measures the outtake to make sure that we have put one litre through each of these filters. You just put your outtake into the bottle so that you can measure the one litre mark and then you're ready to go. So we switch on the filter. You have water coming through up 8 micron, 5 micron, 3 micron, through the pump, into the pump, and then out into our beaker and measuring 1 litre of filter water. So when it reaches that 1 litre mark, we'll stop it. So there we go, we have reached uh, the 1 litre mark on the filter. We then need to disconnect all of this, so we are wanting now to collect our white filter cartridges in line. So we remove this part here and this part. And we'll take this back over to our alfoil to put the filters into our sample pot. So back over here, um, we have our water sample. We then need to take a sterile container like these particular yellow cap containers and we write the information of what our sample. In this case, we have um, tank water from the intake, tank 27. And then we also write the date on here as well. So this is ready to put our filtered water into. The next step is to get our filters out of these cartridges in a sterile manner and we pull those into the sample container. It's quite an easy process. Simply open them up so and use your forceps to remove those filters put them into your sample pot you can remove this one simply get them and take off the top piece and again put that filter into the sample pot get your MCU filter paper off of the cartridge just open it gently and using your sterile tweezers take off the white filter cartridge and place that into your sample pot. Depending on the sample design, you might have a statistically significant sample plant that does four replicates of one litre per site, and you can put all of the filter papers in here for each of those replicates to pull them together. You then take 70% uh, laboratory grade ethanol like we have here, and pour that over the filter papers to preserve them and ship them to Jennings for testing on multipaths. And there you have it. EDNA filter papers ready for testing of pathogens in your water on multipath. To clean your filtration equipment, submerge it in a 10% fresh water bath solution for 10 minutes or more. If you'd like any more information, please don't hesitate to get in contact at info at